Hi, this is Christine from Gecko Gully Websites. What I want to show you is um, an explanation of how the registration for a um, WooCommerce customers, where you've got both wholesale and retail on the one site, um, can work. The site I'm showing you is a um, new site that is just being developed for a um, business called Glendon Place. And Glendon Place is a business that sells retail and wholesale. And with the wholesale, they have either just straight wholesale or they have wholesale with auto ship, which means that whenever Cheryl um, introduces a new product she wants to be able to automatically know that she can ship you know two copies or four copies or whatever of that um, product to the auto ship customers now normally with WooCommerce which is a WordPress plugin obviously um, with WooCommerce the registration is done at the end of the purchase process so the the customer goes to the website they put in all the stuff that they are interested in and then uh, into the cart and then at the end of it they um, say yes I'm, you know, I do want that this is my total great and then they fill out the registration form so they say um, yes I you know this is my name my address and so forth now, in the case of a site that has both wholesale and retail on the one site, you really do need to know before that um, which actual, you know, what the actual prices are of the products. So, you know, the customer isn't going to want to um, pay retail price and then get to the end of it and then apply for a wholesale account. They want to apply for a wholesale account first and then they want to actually see the wholesale prices um, as they're adding things to the cart. So there's a number of things that need to be put in place in order to, um, to, to facilitate this. So the first thing which I'm not going to show as part of this video um, is to set up uh, user groups which means to actually have the, um, the users either being wholesale or retail. Then the next thing after that is that as you are adding products you will set up the wholesale pricing. But the one thing that um, has been missed in this whole thing is this idea of registering. So what I've done here is I've used Gravity Forms to create a registration form. And if I click on Edit, you'll, this is the registration form for Glendon Place. If you're one of my clients, I'm more than happy to set all this up for you, but I want you to understand why I've done all this and how you can go about making changes. So we've got the name, we've got the company name, which is optional. We've got the address. We've got, do you want to subscribe to our newsletter? And I'll show, show you in a minute a bit more about the details of that. Um, email, password, customer type, wholesale with automatic or wholesale or retail. Then I've got um, auto program for new releases and I've got that set up so that that box will only show if they have ticked wholesale with automatic or wholesale, sorry, only if they've um, ticked wholesale with automatic. So uh, to, to ask them how many new releases do they want. And then I've also asked for the resale certificate number, which is for if they have ticked wholesale with automatic or wholesale. I've also put the capture in the bottom because this is a form which is going to be publicly visible and so you don't want a whole lot of spam registrations. So if I show you what that looks like on the front end, we've got up here registration for retail customers and shops and I've, I've got to change this heading for Cheryl, I forgot to do that. Um, and then down here we've got you know name, company name, this is the form, how it looks on the actual website. Um, We've also got a box here which is login, sorry, a link to the page for login. Now the standard login page on WordPress will have both the um, place where you log in and also the place where you register, but the registration is only asking for your name and your email address. So when this loads, what I've done for um, Cheryl is I have um, changed this, actually this is not a good example because this is somebody who's already logged in. Um, if this wasn't logged in it would just have the login box on the left, it wouldn't have the registration on the right, I've taken that off. Okay, so that's another thing that needs to be done because you don't want people just registering with their name and their email address, you want all that other information as well. Now the next thing that happens after somebody has filled this out is um, obviously they're going to be requesting what customer they want to, you know, what type of customer they want to be. And they also um, have asked to be on the newsletter. Now Cheryl has got three, well she's actually got four newsletters, but three of them are relevant to this. Um, one is for retail, one is for wholesale, and one is for wholesale with automatic. 
so I want to show you how we get people into the right newsletter so on WooCommerce we have got an add-on for MailChimp and MailChimp is what um, what Cheryl is using for her mailing lists so if I so what I've done is I have clicked set up three MailChimp feeds now you need to actually have a form ready set up first so you have to set up the form first and then you can set up the MailChimp feed so let's go so I've set up three of them one for retail customers sorry where are we that's the form name this is the list Glendon Place Automatic, Glendon Place Wholesale and Glendon Place Registered Retail so if I click on this one which is for the automatic people I can show you how I've set this up and again if you're one of my clients I will set this up for you but I want you to understand how it works so um, first of all there's which MailChimp list do you want and I've already gone through the process of linking this um, Gravity Forms to Cheryl's MailChimp account so I've already put in the API key for her so if I click on this it'll tell it'll ask us which list do you want it to be want this person to be a member of what's the form that we're reading from which is the registration form we need to fill in the email address we need, so we meet, need to link the email address on the list with the form field which is email then we say first name is that on the field uh, is that on the form the last name is that on the form then we need this is the important bit we need an opt-in com condition so we need to click enable and then it says export to MailChimp if the customer type is wholesale automatic okay um, I've said yes we want to do the double opt-in that means that the customer is actually going to be sent an email saying could you please confirm that you want to be on this list so I've set up three of these for Cheryl and um, one for the wholesale automatic one for the wholesale and one for the retail so if you need to change this then this is where you would go to change it now the other thing that I have set up um, is a um, user registration now by default what um, gravity will do if somebody fills this out is basically just store the information and send you an email but what we want is we actually want them to register people as a user or a user is another name for a customer um, so we actually want people to we actually want the system to register people as a user and store their information as a user so what I've got is I've got under Gravity Forms is a thing called user registration and I've added a new feed similarly to what I did with the MailChimp. And so the action for this um, when the form is filled out is to create the user. What's the form? That's the registration form. We've only got one form in this situation. And again we need to map. This is the form field and this is the registration field okay so we need to map the username we're actually going to use email for username we need um, WooCommerce needs to know or WordPress slash WooCommerce needs to know the first name so that's first name last name what how are we going to display the name so I've chosen first name and then a space and then the last name and these are all available in drop down options so you can choose how you want to display the name email address is obviously email the password is the password that the um, customer entered themselves if you want to we can actually set this up so that the system will generate a password for them um, I for my clients I normally don't recommend that because their customers like to choose their own passwords and the role this is important the role when they first register we want to make them a role of customer the other alternatives are automatic program and wholesale and then there's other options which you wouldn't choose because they involve getting access to admin but what you need to do is when somebody first registers they need to be registered as a customer which is, means a retail customer so that way until you have approved them and that's the next step I'm going to show you how to do that until you have actually approved them to have wholesale access they will only have retail access now in Cheryl's, in Cheryl's situation she says about 90% of her customers are retail customers so in 90% of the case she won't need to go through that you know that um, approval process people should just be able to buy from her straight away now there's a few other bits and pieces that we need to add to the information that we are storing for this particular user so um, I've had to choose um, custom meta information and again like I said if you're one of my clients I'll set this up for you um, so long as I know what it is that you want but um, I do need to know you know what other information you need on the form and if you need to change something later you can go back in here and change it so if you want to add another one of these you would click on the plus and then you would um, choose what it is you want to 
um, actually store. So what I've got is I've typed in customer type and then the box on the form is called customer type. I want to store preferred payment method. I'm not sure why I haven't got that there. Um, I have to come but as you I remember that because she decided she didn't want preferred payment method so I'm just going to go get rid of that but basically these are the things that we want to store about that person we don't really need to store subscribe to newsletter um, I'm not sure I'm not sure why that's not showing up but I'll have to look at that later and see what happens now the last thing here is the additional options um, and you can click on the little thing here that tells you why um, you know what the you know what the things uh, what the explanations are sorry I'm only halfway through my first coffee for the day so the brain's not quite kicked in yet um, so do we want to send an email to the customer and the default is that yeah it says enabled by default so it means yes it's it's enabled um, and I've I've unticked it so no I don't want to send the password to the new user if you want to that's fine you can tick it user activation um, this would mean that the customer customer actually has to go and click on a link in an email in order to activate themselves now we don't want them we want people to be able to purchase straight away and registration condition means that um, we will only register the user if certain conditions are met so um, in this case we don't want that we want to just have the customer registered under all, uh, all circumstances so I'm just going to click update because I got rid of that thing about asking for the preferred payment method and then I'm going to show you what I've done over here this is an a test entry that I did because the site isn't live yet so what I've done is um, I actually filled this form out earlier when I was I used another browser where I wasn't logged in now on the default entry screen and this is under forms entries in the gravity forms area you will find that the not all the columns that you need are displayed so if you want to change which columns are displayed you can click on this edit and then you can choose other columns that you might want to display so just wait for this to load it's just a simple matter of dragging and dropping from right to left or to get rid of them you drag them from left to right um, so the one that I decided I do need in there is customer type because this will show retail which means that Cheryl doesn't have to do anything or it'll show wholesale or it'll show wholesale with automatic so um, what I have done here is I've you know this would eventually show a nice long list of all the people who have applied for this now Cheryl will get an email when somebody fills the form out and then she'll need to come to this um, this screen I just remembered something I forgot to tell you with the MailChimp I don't know if I brushed over this but the idea is that when the customer fills out the form and says they want to be in the wholesale with automatic or the wholesale or the retail list that will immediately put them into that right list okay so if Cheryl decides later that oh hang on I don't want to approve this person for wholesale then she needs to go into MailChimp and move them out of that and into retail okay so um, I figure that most of the people who do apply for wholesale she's going to approve so it's better if they automatically go into that correct mailing list right from the start but then if she decides later that she doesn't want to approve that person for wholesale she'll have to go into MailChimp and move them out of that and into the retail or get rid of them completely if she's not going to have them as, as a customer at all so going back to the entries this is what I remember I clicked on view so this is what you get when um, when you click on view um, it gets, it's got the name the company the address all the forms they've filled out do you want to subscribe to the newsletter um, and then it says here customer type wholesale with automatic now um, <coughs> actually I've just realized I've missed a screen let me just go to users I'll open this up in a new tab so what will happen is when somebody has filled this out um, their um, their details will be on this screen so we can go to um, sorry they'll be listed here so you can see here I've already approved this person to be in the automatic but what will be here is just customer okay so what Cheryl needs to do first is she goes to entries she has a look at all this information to decide do I want this person to be one of my um, wholesale customers and if she says yes she goes back here to users she will tick here and say change role to automatic or wholesale 
don't ever by mistake change this person to being one of these other things because um, th these unless it's customer because these other things will give her give the customer access to admin which is not a good thing so all she needs to do is go in here find that customer tick on this <coughs> excuse me change them to automatic or wholesale and then click on change and then it will change that person to the correct um, the correct role that they want to have so that next time they log in they'll be able to see the pricing so then what we can do is go back to entries and this is something that I've already done we can actually type in here um, thank you for your interest your application has been approved you, if you'll set up your own format for this um, you will say um, you know next time you log in you're going to see you're going to be able to buy at wholesale prices that sort of thing and then you click on add note and then this will come up and you see here it says almost also email this note to so you need to choose the the person you want to also email the note to which in this case is the customer and then you can put something in to um, the subject and I might put um, wholesale spell it right Christine application approved something like that okay you understand what I was trying to write don't you <laughs> um, application approved so you can put that in there click on add note and then um, when you click on edit sorry so when you click on add note it will um, send that away to the customer now if you want to change any of these things for the person you can click on edit and then you'll be able to change all of these if further down if later on you actually want to um, resend all the notifications which includes all these things you can click on resend notifications but basically that's it so the the steps are set up a form link the form to your gravity sorry to your MailChimp accounts you know do your MailChimp lists so that you'll be able to get these people into the correct lists right from the start thirdly set up the registration feed with the um, so that you're mapping the form fields to the registration things and then you're pretty much set um, I will do all that for you if, if you're one of my clients but then um, you know, if you want to make changes that's where you can go back to make changes once you get a person filling in that form you're going to get an email although it's probably a good idea if you come and check entries every now and then just to see whether one has snuck through because sometimes emails don't go through so um, come and check entries and then you'll be able to go to users and approve that person for the um, the you know the the group that they want to be in whether it's wholesale or whatever and then come back and send that email to them through the notes system that all by sending it to the through the notes system it also means that you've got a record that yes I did actually tell this person that they've been approved okay so that's pretty much it like I said if you're one of my clients I'll set all this up for you but um, I just wanted to make this video to show you how all this works and you know what you need to do so that you understand it a bit better so yeah